Alliance Delta just did such a good job giving you a travel trailer that has that big fifth wheel feel to it and doesn't feel just confined and trapped down. So I really like what they did here. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, we are here in the Alliance display here in Elkhart, Indiana at this event that is called like RV Open House or RV Expo, a couple different names people call it, but it's an industry only event. So it is not open to the public. This is basically an event that the manufacturers put on across the RV industry for dealerships to all fly in, take a look at everything that's new for the next year models rolling out so they can get eyes on things and know what it is that they're ordering when they go to order units for their dealerships. So great time for someone like me to come out and film everything that's new for 2024. And we're taking a look at this 2024 Alliance Delta and the model number on this here, I don't even know what it is exactly because this is my first time seeing it, 292RL. So this is a rear living opposing slide out island kitchen travel trailer and first of all just looking at the outside it is such a stunning looking travel trailer i mean such a good job they did putting this together the color scheme the graphics the even just the logo up front the alliance logo that they use the font they use i just love everything about it they have these led lights up here with a diffuser over them so they have more of that glowing effect which i just think every single rv should have because it looks so good there's a whole lot to talk about with this Alliance Delta, so let's get into it. Up front, you have a power tongue jack, two 20-pound propane bottles, and spot for batteries here. And then as you go down through this pass-through storage compartment, I'm going to open up the camera here for you to see a little bit more. And when we open this up, this is going to be a huge space. Alliance Delta is definitely priding itself on the amount of exterior storage that it's going to offer. So they do a drop frame down underneath here. Very few travel trailers out there in the market will do this drop frame here that gives you all this extra storage space, makes this really, really tall, love this. And then right here, you're going to have awning switches. So these are gonna be for both of your awnings here and you get control of your awnings from outside. So I just think this is so smart. You don't have to run inside your RV to close your awnings if it starts raining or getting too windy, or if you're just feeling lazy, you can just go right here. It's in your storage compartment. And then you have hot and cold water for your spray ports. Whoops, I didn't mean to knock that off there but your controls for all of your water going to your spray ports is right over here and you can kind of just set that temperature and forget it and leave it at exactly whatever temperature you want it to be so i love that as well and they have spray ports everywhere because there's a spray port on this side a spray port on that side and i even think there's one along the back that we'll see also have access into this door there that's going to give you access to your water lines and your heat ducting and you have this six foot picnic table that goes right there as well so you have storage space for that Aluminum framing welds on both sides of all your aluminum frame connections. Down underneath this travel trailer, you have manual stabilizers. The quickest and easiest way to do this is to get a drill with a connection that would connect right there and it will literally shoot down that stabilizer arm in like one and a half seconds. It's incredibly quick, so it doesn't take a long time at all. And then underneath here, fully enclosed underbelly, all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly and you have a tube here to store your sewer hose. As we take a step back, you're going to have the tinted glass entry door. Go down this wall. You're going to have outlets right here. And then down underneath here, you have a Goodyear Endurance American made tire, has a standard leaf spring suspension down underneath here. And wow, they are even, they're doing this across the board. Okay, let me see if I can find the sticker on this. I don't even know if they put the sticker on here for this. Okay, they have a really awesome, I'm gonna go over to this fits wheel here, a really awesome running gear here. You can see, everything that it talks about here. Now this Alliance Delta is not going to have everything that this has because the Alliance Delta doesn't have this Mori CRE 3000 suspension system, but the Delta does have this two inch torsion tube that's welded to the I-beam for added strength and rigidity. And let me go show you what that looks like here real quick. Um, I'm still really learning how to talk about this properly because I was just given this information, but you can see this two inch tube right here that drops down that is basically going to, you know, it's, gosh, I got to crawl all the way under this slide out. I'm going to look crazy, <laughs> but you get down underneath here. Okay. So this two inch tube is going to cause this spot right here where 
all of the force is being felt whenever you turn this RV or anything like that, it shortens it. Cause normally it would be like this long right here, which gives it so much more length there. And the more length that's here, the more, um, what's that word? The more like, it's not torque. Oh my gosh, the more leverage it has to just potentially snap this. You know what I mean? The longer it is, the easier this can snap where the welds are at. So it shortens that length right there. And there's V brackets down underneath here as well for added strength. I don't think there's going to be another travel trailer out there in the market that has this kind of setup on it. So it's pretty impressive. It's something definitely worth talking about. And it's going to make it so throughout the lifespan of owning your RV, it's going to really protect it more from any sort of damage happening to the frame or to your suspension system, to the axles, stuff like that. So hopefully I explained that properly and that made sense. That was a really tight space I was down underneath there and took a lot of effort to squeeze out from underneath that slide out there. But hopefully you appreciate that added information for you people out there that care about that kind of stuff. Most of you probably just skipped this part of the video anyways and I did that for nothing. But anyways, as we come along to the back, you're going to have your ladder here to get up onto the roof. And I really like that they're giving you a ladder from the factory. They're not going with that Lippert retractable ladder that you have to buy after purchasing your RV. And they made this ladder wide enough here so it would fit a standard bath towel or beach towel so you can hang it from the ladder for a spot to dry things out. Another spray port down here, that's what I was talking about. You'll have all these different spray ports and you have a 300 pound accessory hitch underneath here. I'm gonna squeeze by this space and we're gonna get to the non-camp side because there is stuff Worth talking about over here, you can see your slide out there, have your vent fan for when you are cooking. And as far as dump valves go, all of your dump valves will be in front of the axle there. So all of your black and gray tanks will come to this one central spot. And that will be nice and easy to access right there. And you'll have a tankless on-demand water heater. This will be a Furion tankless on-demand water heater. On this side of your storage compartment, you can see right here, this is where you control the water for your spray port. You'll have a hot and a cold nozzle and you just adjust that to your liking. You have your slide out switch right here as well. So that will control your slide out from outside. And then they label all your stuff in here so well. Alliance does the best job I've seen out of anybody with just putting stickers everywhere. So whether it's a salesperson at an RV lot or you as a consumer at an RV lot, you're gonna be able to know what features you're looking at and not miss anything. Slam latch baggage doors here as well, so I really like that. Do not like when you have to deal with those annoying metal clips. And then that is everything on the outside. So let's go around here and hop inside. Again, this is gonna be an island kitchen layout with opposing slide outs in the living room. And as we go inside, be ready to let me know what you think about this uh, travel trailer RV. And you can see here, it is warrantied for full-time RVing. So Alliance is backing this with a full-time RVing warranty. You have an Asdell sidewall, so this is going to be a composite panel sidewall, no wood in the sidewall. That's going to make it so that if you ever had moisture penetration in through there or anything like that, you can actually see it here through the door. See how in your sidewall there's no wood anywhere? If you ever get moisture in there, it's going to prevent delamination from happening, which can happen when you have a composite panel, or not a composite, sorry, a wood panel sidewall. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. As we come into the space, I'm gonna give you a chance just to kind of look around, but it really does feel just like a baby fifth wheel. Really nice space, lots of seating space all the way around, good countertop space, nice big windows all along your campsite. So you're gonna get a great view out into your camping environment, good amount of kitchen countertop space, coffee bar area here or whatever you may use this countertop space for as well. And a lot of people have asked to see without the wide angle lens, so I'm just gonna show you real quick and then I'm gonna go back to the wide angle lens because that's what I prefer. But this is what the space looks like when it's not a wide angle lens here in this travel trailer. 
Y'all can let me know down below in the comments if you feel like it makes that big of a difference seeing it with a wide angle lens versus not a wide angle lens. It's just from my perspective, it's very hard to show everything in a timely manner when I'm not using this wide angle or when I'm, yeah, when I'm not using the wide angle lens. So I definitely prefer the wide angle. It helps me just show more in one shot than if I didn't. Down underneath here, you're going to have a um, pedestal style table, I think would be the right way to say that. So it's this leg right here in the middle with a base there. And then you do have slide out flooring that matches the flooring in the travel trailer. I keep almost saying fifth wheel. I have to like catch myself before the word comes out because it just feels like we're in a baby fifth wheel. But in this travel trailer, you have two recliners here. This is in the Kensington collection from Lippert. So it's some Lippert furniture and these will both recline, have heat and massage as well. Or actually, sorry, that is not correct. It has a light on and off button. And then they will be a, a manual recliner there, but they will lay back and those recliners will lay back. You have nice big window off the back wall as well. Two cushion sofa that will pull out to make into essentially like a queen size bed when you make that into a bed. I wonder, yep, hidden storage down underneath here. One of the few spots I've seen that doesn't have a sticker somewhere, but I'm sure when it arrives to dealer lots, they'll have a sticker on one of these sides to let you know there's hidden storage underneath there. Outlets and USB ports here, and they're going with the USB type C connection port there, which I think is gonna be very important since we saw the release of the iPhone 15 has that new connection on the um, bottom of the phone. It's no longer the lightning connection. So I think that USB type C connection port is going to become very important and should just be standardized across all RVs. Nice little storage spot here that's backlit with LED lights there and then same storage up here. Nice big window here, or not window. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? Nice big speaker here. I filmed like, gosh, I don't even know how many RVs I filmed at this point. I'm on like a three week run of just filming RVs for 12 hours a day, every day. And yeah, it's just absolutely brutal trying to say the right words over and over and over again. And my brain is just becoming completely fogged with, you know, calling speakers windows and things like that that don't even make sense. <laughs> but anyways, another unique feature that I've only seen from Alliance is this pullout storage space underneath here. This is something, again, I've only seen from Alliance. I've had people ask me before, like on other models of other brands, like, hey, is there storage behind the fireplace on that one? This is something I have only seen from Alliance. I have not seen a single other brand doing this here. If you have seen it, let us know down below in the comments, but I have not seen another brand besides Alliance have a pullout storage space back there behind the fireplace. Back behind here, you have storage underneath there. That is some deep storage. And then... They don't divide this space off, so it kind of just gives you a nice big countertop space. They center your stove and oven, so you have countertop space on both sides of that. Center your microwave, so it all kind of looks symmetrical. This looks to be about, it doesn't have the TV size here, but I don't think it's quite a 50 inch screen TV. It looks like it might be like a 45 or a 48. Storage space back behind here, it will be a swivel TV and you do have shelving back behind there as well. Storage up above the TV and soft closed cabinets in a travel trailer, like just come on. I can't even think of another travel trailer that has soft closed cabinets. That is a big deal to me. I really like that and really appreciate that. Definitely should be in more options out there in the market, but glad to see it in this Delta. Nice big pots and pan drawer. And with drawers like this, I should also let you know, you have, you can see this drawer here, you have a reinforced piece underneath here that little piece right there is going to allow this drawer to hold up to 90 pounds and that's something again i've only seen alliance doing this i i haven't looked at that on any other brand if the other brands are doing it they're definitely not promoting it and letting people know um, so that is something that is nice you have a standard size rv microwave vent fan out here over your three burner stove and you have your three burner stove and standard Furion oven, standard RV size oven, nothing crazy there. Stainless steel sink. The sink is off-centered, so that gives you more countertop space to one side of the sink. See your countertop color here as well. This is going to be a wrapped countertop. It's not a solid surface countertop. And then you have a off-center drain here, so it drains off to the side. Also underneath here, let's see, you have a spot for a trash can, so that is interesting. You can see how that comes out there. And then under this part, 
You can see you have shut off valves there for your water lines. So if you do have some sort of water leak, you can shut off the water just to these lines there, which is another nice touch also. So move to the left of this space, you're going to have your Furion 12 volt refrigerator and your freezer up above. And then here you're going to have your pantry. So still get a nice designated pantry space, lighting that turns on when you open the door. Love that. Nice little coffee bar area, storage space up above here. And then two pull out drawers there and storage underneath here might have nope that's all open i thought there might be breakers or fuses behind there but there are not outlets and usb ports here as well and that's pretty much everything as we walk back to the bathroom i do want to point out a couple things in the ceiling you have these led lights that are pretty much flush with the ceiling there so those look really nice they don't have the dome that dips down anymore and i love that look alliance is going to be one of the only travel trailers doing that for 2024 that I've seen. And then you have your AC system here that is ducted down both sides of the travel trailer. So you can see there's ducting running down this way and ducting running down that way with where these vents are at. So gonna get great airflow in here. Controls right here for everything in this travel trailer as you walk in the entry door. And then I think you can tell on camera, this door or this wall here is slightly angled, which just gives you a wider approach into this hallway. And it makes sense because it's kind of like, you know, wasted, useless space, just giving it to you next to the toilet here. There's still plenty of shoulder space here on the toilet, even with this wall being at a bit of an angle. So just a smart little clever thing that is just such a little detail that I definitely notice. You have a towel hook right there. Ceiling height in this travel trailer in general is great. That's another thing I should talk about. Because they aren't doing a barreled ceiling, it's just a straight line ceiling. That allows them to put these slide out boxes a little bit taller. So you get this 80 inch tall slide out room. And when you go into the shower, you're going to get a nice straight tall shower height as well. So when I step in there, yeah, ceiling height in here is probably about six, four, six, five. And then you could probably be about six, seven, maybe even six, eight and fit in the skylight. This shower head also sits at a good height where the camera is at my eye position. And you can see here, the shower head is a little bit above that position there. So I would only have to duck just a little bit to get underneath that shower head. You have a porcelain foot flush toilet and it is a soft closed toilet seat. You're going to have all this space here for storage. So they're definitely packing this full of storage. And as you can see, I took my shoes off to get into that shower there. Have your shelved out space there medicine cabinet is massive as well so you can see that even have a little spot for soaps and toothbrushes that they added on there something i haven't seen from any other brand so i really like that too so lots of great storage i'm going to leave my shoes behind in here as we go into the bedroom and walk into the bedroom and you're going to have a queen size bed in here individual reading lights and puck lights for each person in the bed the reading lights will also have a blue Kind of soft light there so i love that you're getting those additional light options lots of storage in this space as well because they don't do the barreled ceiling they can really push this wardrobe closet all the way up and into the corner and give you maximized storage space also gives you a removable shelf in here so a nice touch with that lots of other brands will just leave that open all the way through and not give you the shelf option storage space through there soft close on that and then come down underneath here and you have a pull out drawer right there and hidden storage underneath this epoxy poured countertop. You also have USB charging ports underneath here and outlets and that light switch is going to be for this puck light that is up above your head. As you turn around, you can see you have your second AC here in the bedroom. This is just going to dump down into this space so it is not ducted through the rest of the travel trailer. You have a spot for a TV on the wall there and you have two pull out drawers here and additional storage through here. Now there is no washer dryer connections in this travel trailer. So I'm curious if that's something that y'all would have liked to see in a travel trailer like this. Um, I'm trying to think if there's other options in this size range out there that do have washer dryer connections. It's not like super terribly common in travel trailers, but I feel like I just get so many people asking for washer dryer connections. I'm curious if that is something that you would like. So if it is, let me know down below in the comments if you feel like the Alliance Delta travel trailer should have washer dryer connections. 
So you turn this way, you have your sliding door there, and that's pretty much everything in this bedroom. Again, ceiling height is great in here, so it feels very comfortable. It's gotta be like a seven foot tall ceiling nearly. You have a spot here where you can install a Wi-Fi router as well. And this is the brand new Alliance Delta 292 RL. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm very curious your thoughts, would love to hear your feedback. And let me know if this is something you could see yourself camping or living in. Until next time, live firmly on bounds.